If you saw my New Year's live stream, then you already know that I already NP3 this man. And I was completely fine with leaving him at NP3 and then maybe NP5ing him at a later date because I don't know. I I'm kind of scared what he's going to drop for Lost Belt 6 Part 2. If, you know, we're going to get Olga, if we're going to get maybe Tiamat for Valentine's or something crazy. But the more I thought about it, I was like, dude, I've been waiting for Kotamine for way longer than I was waiting for Olga, than I was waiting for Tiamat even. I've been waiting for him since the very beginning and I'm going to stop at NP3 really because i think out of all the fate villains he's probably my favorite one now if we include antagonist because there's a difference between being an antagonist and being a villain then obviously gilgamesh is my number one but if we're st talking straight villains straight evil motherfuckers i gotta say go Kide is my favorite no matter what so you know what i'm gonna try a little bit harder to get into mp5 i don't want to use everything because again i don't know what's gonna happen in the future as far as gotchas go so i want to make sure i'm well prepared for that so i think i'm gonna stop at like 200 quarts and maybe half my ticket to see if i could snag at least two other copies of my boy right here of course let me know guys who is your favorite fate villain if you have one i mean there's a lot of great choices to choose from i, I mean if it's not cultivating a kid then i don't know i don't know what's wrong with you guys to be honest he's just way too good way too he's weirdly charismatic in a way where it's not charismatic in the same sense as like Iskandar or Gilgamesh even, but he has this weird, I guess, aura about him. When when he talks, you just want to listen, you know? And uh, he's just such a... Oh my god, are you serious? Oh shit, I could listen to you talk all day if you want me to keep, you know, complimenting you about your voice and like the way you speak, then hey, why not? What? Was that two singles? Was that like two singles? That was two singles, right? I started with 44. Two singles? Are you kidding me right now, Kotomini Kira? Rasputin. Gregory Rasputin. Are you serious? All right, um. Just need one more copy. I, I thought I was going to sit here forever and regret life, but all right. I, I guess I got to keep complimenting the man. I mean, you know, his body. I mean, let's face it. His body's second to none. I mean, I love Gilgamesh and all, right? But Kotimine is just on a whole nother level of ripped. You know what I mean? And he's like middle aged too. Like if when I get to my 40s, my 50s, however old Kotimine is, I, I hope I have that kind of physique. I'm probably not. If I'm going to be honest, I... I, I work out, I, you know, I keep myself in shape. I go out and walks, runs, bikes, um, you know, bike riding, I should say. But I, I don't really do weightlifting or anything at quite as intense um, that would develop my muscle tone. But you know what? Uh, if you come to me one more time, Colton, you know, I might have to, I might have to get on that uh, church. Uh, regimen. I, I might have to do that, to be honest. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think the only other alter ego. I could get a Sitanai, I think. Unless she's story banner, then um I could be wrong, but I never got spooked by her, so I, I actually don't know by heart if she's story banner. I know for a fact she's not uh, limited, but still. That's crazy. That's crazy. I guess uh Kotimine really appreciates the fact that I hold him to such a high standard. I mean, come on now. Such a such a great great villain. In, in anime history to be honest not even just fate i'm just trying to kiss his ass so he could come one more time please i, I didn't know he was a fan of getting complimented I, maybe that's all he really needed maybe as a kid growing up he never got the recognition you know he wanted and that's why he grew up all kind of all kinds of messed up i think that's i think that's where it is that's the root of the issue i mean he was, he was trained he was taught the the, the way of the church the way of religion but I, I guess nobody ever ever just said hey man you look good today I, I don't know I mean he had a wife that clearly loved him a lot so he must have got some kind of compliment from him I mean he must be he must I mean let's let's be real for a sec he must lay it down in the bed really well I mean looking at the rest of his body you can only imagine what's between them legs you know what I mean you can only imagine so Hopefully, uh, his now deceased wife gave him a couple of compliments about his uh, physique. Try not to go too rated R. Well, I, I kind of did. 
I'm trying to go to radar because it's like early in the morning and I think my parents are getting ready for work and I'm not trying to get in trouble. They're gonna, just going to hear me talk about manly dicks and shit. You know, I'm trying, I'm trying to chill. By the way, for context, it's like 7 a.m. right now. Um, and it's like the last day for this banner. Uh, I don't think I mentioned that earlier, so I'm taking taking a risk here. I mean, uh, honestly, I already got one copy, so I'm pretty happy already. Uh, wow, that's a shitty multi roll. A lot of gold C's, but nothing too spectacular. Maybe he's a fan of the singles. <laughs> Maybe that's all it is. And I still need um, three more copies of the five star CE to to max it out. So, I, I had more luck getting the five star servant himself than I did with the five star CE, which is reminiscent of my roles with Sei Shonagon. In both NA and JP, she really loves me, but the five star CE with the one with comma on it does not at all like me. Only got one copy of that craft essence and then like three copies of Sei, both in JP and NA. The same thing happened across both versions of the game. So maybe this is like the equivalent. Um, so honestly, I don't mind. Um, I, I, I mean, I wouldn't mind maxing out the uh, the New Year's Eve. The art is really nice. Monster looks really good in it. But obviously, the main course, the main the main meal, is the the homie Kotomi Nikide. Speaking of meals, by the way, um, never tried Mapo Tofu before. I know Kotomi Nikide is a huge fan of Mapo Tofu and. Uh, I, I regret to say I've never tried it, but after today, I might have to uh, either find a restaurant that serves pretty good uh, Mapo Tofu or make my own. Um, I don't know if you guys know this about me, but you know I'm not saying I'm a professional chef or anything, but I could get it down in the, in the kitchen for sure. I'm a pretty, pretty good home cook if I do say so myself. So if I just snag the ingredients, watch a couple videos, read a couple of... Uh, you know, recipes. I'm sure I could uh, get it down to a science. So, see, I'm just saying, Kide, come one more time and I, I might have to make myself uh, mapo tofu. I'm gonna make it extra spicy. You know, I know that's just the way you like it. I know you like it um, spicy to the point you start sweating. So, might have to, might have to do that, to be honest. Might have to do that. Um, and I have nothing against like mapo tofu or tofu in general. I just never been to a restaurant or been in a situation where it was presented um, in front of me. Like I'm sure if I went to like a Asian restaurant of some kind and it was on the menu and I saw it, I would have ordered it. But I never really see it, and I don't know if it's just like a rare like delicacy here in the United States where I live. But uh, I really, really want to try it now. Uh, Hell yeah. I'm just kind of scared because, um, you know, I like spicy food, but to a degree, to a point. Like, I could, I could handle my spice fairly well, but once you start getting to those types of food that is just nothing but spice. Like those really hot Korean noodles, for example, where like, I've tried those. I don't know if mapo tofu is quite as uh, spicy. Of course, it probably depends on the ingredients you use. You don't have to make it that spicy, but... Basically, uh, there, there's a lot of food out there that's just spicy and there's no other flavor. It's just pain and suffering, which, I mean, maybe that's the way uh, Kide likes it. Maybe that's that's the way I'm going to have to uh, make it or or prepare it myself. But uh, yeah, just one more copy. It's going to be MP5. That's going to be like one of the easiest MP5s ever for, for me as far as five stars go. Um... Obviously, I have Gil MP5, so I want, you know, Kotamina to match him. Inkiru MP5 as well. I believe Mordred in, in JP. I have her MP5, but they were all from Spooks. Never rolled for her specifically in a banner where she had a rate up. She just kept spooking me, so um, there's her. Um, I think Morgan. Morgan's like MP5 as well, but it, she had like a million banners, so... Wow, um, these multi shots suck. This is probably the worst one I've ever seen in my entire life. That was really bad. That was not good at all. And I might have to just go straight singles. But like I said, I think my limit is uh, 200 quarts, 200 ish, I guess like 210. Um, and then uh, half my tickets, which would be like uh, 22, I believe. So don't want to go overboard because again I don't want to screw myself 
or whatever the next uh, big servant is. Uh, the past couple of Valentines, for example, gave Karen and then Bazette. I don't know if there's any other character from the Stay Night slash Hollow Atheratia like cast that's not in the game yet. I guess Shinji, Shinji would be one. I don't know. If they they would never. They they wouldn't release Shinji for Valentine's. That would be kind of weird. It's usually a female servant for Valentine's. But I guess yeah, Shinji would be like one of the last like important characters from the original. Ooh, there's the Kotomini see with his beautiful ass body. But yeah, I, I would like to see Shinji in the game for sure. Uh, I know I know a lot of people don't like him. I I just find him funny. He's very entertaining and. It's probably the only reason I like him, otherwise he's, he is a piece of shit and I understand why people don't like him. <coughs> yeah, these multi-shots been sucking though, so I'm not going to expect too much from this multi-roll. Uh, but yeah. Single shots, I think um, my first copy of him was from a single shot as well. Um, I don't quite remember what my second or third copy was, but yeah. He seems to prefer uh, single rolls, at least in this video. Ah, uh, dang. Singles got him already. And honestly, if even if I only stop at him at MP4, I think that will be fine because I do plan on leveling him up to 120. And if I don't append his first and third skill, which I don't really plan on doing, especially his third append skill, I think MP4 is enough to get him to 120. I could be wrong. I'm not really the best when it comes to math. In fact, I suck ass when it comes to mathematics i'm really not good at it um more of a more of a writer and uh analytical kind of guy myself like analyzing like texts and books and shit but when it comes to uh adding up numbers and stuff of that nature uh, fuck that fuck all of that all right so once i see an alter ego card i think i'm pretty much guaranteed him right i haven't gotten spooked by another uh Gold server, not that I, not that I want that, but it's just kind of odd that I haven't seen a, like a four star servant at least. I definitely don't want to get spooked by five star for sure. Don't want that to happen. <coughs> as far as gameplay wise with uh, Kotamine, he's, um, you know, he's he's a basic art server. Uh, I, I think obviously. Oh wow, do I have this craft essence? Oh, okay, I do. I was about to say. That's basically Kaleidoscope, but instead of raising the attack side, it raises, it raises HP. But as far as gameplay-wise, like I said, Kotomini Kire has all the tools to be a great looper. Uh, again, the only thing that really holds him back is his class. Um, being an alter ego just means he's only really going to be used against the cavalry class uh, servants. Um, whereas it would be better to just bring like somebody like Ibuki or other loopers against like the rest of the classes so um he's, he's a bit limited in that sense and you know bringing up ibuki uh she's just like the the best uh farming looper arts looper in, in the game currently generally speaking okay we got finally one copy of that crap doesn't it's cool just need two more to max it out but yeah uh releasing ibuki and giving her the skills and MP she has. I don't know what Lazango or Aniplex were thinking. Like she's just she just puts like a lot of art servants out of business. To be honest, not saying like the rest of them are now trash and like you should never use them over Ibuki. I'm just saying like generally speaking, Ibuki could do 90% of the things that the rest of the Loopers can do. Obviously, her protection isn't the best. So when compared to somebody who has protection like Musashi, Guts, and Evade, and even Kama and uh, Spacer Star have their own uh, protection as well. So, in terms of that, uh, Boogie isn't really that great when it comes to protecting yourself. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, in, co in terms of farming, like she's just untouched um, as far as art slipping goes. I think I think the argument could be made when it comes to like challenges and boss fights. So um, I already think I'm close to halfway through my tickets, and then I I think I'm. This is my fourth multi shot, so I think two more multi shots and then I'm done. Again, on math, this is my strong suit, and it's like 7 a.m. right now, so really, really don't have the best brain capacity right now, so 
I know I started the video off with like 680 something quarts, so and I just say like 210 uh, quarts off stop. That would be my limit. And yeah. Hopefully I get my fifth copy and then I'll be good to go. Alternatively, of course, I could just wait till uh, the next guaranteed death star and just gung ho for him. Because I, uh, one of the problems with guaranteed SSRs um, for me in the past couple of years in JP, there's been really no servant I really super duper want from the guaranteed SSRs. Obviously, there's some I prefer over others, but there's never, you know, a small handful of servants or one servant that I really, really want. And maybe Kotamine will be that one servant that I'll be hunting from guaranteed SSRs from here on going forward. Which I wouldn't mind. Again, this. Speaking generally here, I, there's just nobody else I want uh, from the guaranteed death stars at this moment. Uh, I, I'll still do them just to do them, but um, I guess, again, if I'm unable to MP5 in here, then may as well hunt him down in the future GSSRs, which gives me something to, to look forward to. Um, but yeah. How are you guys doing? I don't really know what else to say. I should just do a skip. I should just skip from here on out. The video's already uh, long enough, so. Plus, I'm getting ready to. Uh, I, I gotta get ready to go to an, an event with my brother. He invited me to a Chainsaw Man uh, collaboration event over at a local Bobo place. So, I'm gonna be doing that. Gonna be going to get some boba at some point in a couple of hours. Okay, so there are 22 tickets, so I'll stop there. And then we'll do like two or three more multi rolls, and then that's it. And that will be it. After these three multi shots, that's it. Unless I get him now, then like I won't do more multi shots than necessary. Okay, gold spin? Gold spin? Probably a four star, but that's okay. Oh! Dude, dude, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Kotamini Kide. I love you. Um, you're my boy. Definitely will start going to church if uh, you're the priest, if you're the pastor. Definitely will start going to church now because of you. You're my boy. <clears throat> oh man. I would celebrate harder, I just don't want to wake anyone up. I NP5 them before getting five copies of the practice. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. That's insane. That is. And the, the multi roll isn't even done yet. Oh, he got his. He got his. Uh, his boy, Tokiomi. When he backstabbed. Wow. Just when I was saying that he didn't really like the multi rolls, that's. Pretty. I'm kind of tempted to go for. Okay, do I be greedy? Should I be greedy? Okay, you know what? Just to break an even 500, I'll do. Okay, no. You know what? No. Last time I took a risk. Last time I took a risk, I got a Solfo Saber. So, we'll stop there. I kind of do want to maximum break the 5 star CE, but at the same time, it's funny as hell that I MP5 them before before maxing out the 5 star CE. That is as insane luck, for sure. Now, behold, as I MP5 him, I will be grailing him off screen for sure to 120. There you go. Wow. Let me screenshot that. That's crazy. That was one of the easiest NP5s ever. I did, yeah, I did use some paid courts as you guys saw. There, there's like, I did do the the paid courts for the the single shots because I had leftover from when I bought courts from the guaranteed SR. But for the, I think literally all the copies I got from for him were were free courts. Yeah, were free courts and of course tickets, which are of course free. So I literally free to play NP5 them. That's insane. And I still have 533 ports and 22 tickets, which obviously isn't enough for the pity, but I don't care. I got my boy at B5. I'm happy as hell. So I'm prepared for Lost Bill 6. Uh, granted, um, based on like the characters that they introduced so far, I don't know if I want to roll for any of them, if I'm going to be honest. Like they all look good, but none of them spoke to me. Uh, unlike you, Kotomunikide, if you speak to me, I'll. I'll listen. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. And comment down below. Let me know who is your favorite 
fate villain of all time. Mine, obviously, Colt Communicated, and it's probably gonna stay like that because he was very kind to me, which is not something he usually uh, does for people. He likes seeing people suffer, but I guess he's gonna make an exception for me because I'm such a huge fan. So thank you very much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.